So last night, Aaron Rodgers looked like simply Aaron Rodgers. Everything about him looked like Aaron Rodgers, the way he threw the ball, the way he conducted the offense, and even his reaction to head coach Robert Salah. He literally, Robert Salah went in for a hug. Aaron Rodgers pushed him and gave him a death stare. His body language is still the same body language, and that death stare was basically saying, hey, we haven't won yet. It's not time to celebrate. So Aaron Rodgers is still Aaron freaking Rodgers. He's really, really good. And it gives you hope as a Jets fan, if you are a Jets fan. I'm I'm not. But I do love narratives and I do love stories. And this is one of the best stories we've seen in a long time. If Aaron Rodgers is able to take this New York Jets football team, this New York Jets franchise to the playoffs. I think they have the longest active streak in American sports without a playoff appearance. Yesterday, they beat the New England Patriots for the first time in over a decade. It felt like an exorcism. They like were able to get out those demons of the New England Patriots. Everything about how the Jets played looked absolutely fantastic. He spread the ball around. I mean, this whole year, we thought it was going to be Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. I think 10 different receivers caught passes for the New York Jets. I'm, I'm going to just like double confirm that for you guys. But I think 10 different receivers caught passes for the Jets. Maybe I'm wrong. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different receivers caught passes for the Jets. Braylon Allen looks like this rookie looks like he's a stud from Wisconsin. He, I mean, he had more yards on the ground than, um, than Brees Hall yesterday. Aaron Rodgers is back, and Aaron Rodgers looked good. He looked like a conductor yesterday, 27 for 35, 285 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. He did take two sacks, but one thing that I loved about it, I know he wasn't running around like crazy, but three rushes for 18 yards and an 11-yard run after a torn Achilles, and he was running to the right, and it looked like people were like, all right, it looks like Aaron Rodgers might be back. Aaron Rodgers might actually be back and ready to play football at a high level. And then you go and look at the at the Jets schedule afterwards and you're like what is this team going to be able to accomplish in the long run? And I'm going to share my screen here and show you the New York Jets schedule. And what and they're 2 and 1 right now. And I thought this was going to this division was I thought it was going to be a little bit harder because I thought the Dolphins were going to be good, but we don't know when Tua is going to come back. So their quarterback situation is that you can eliminate one playoff team from the, my AFC predictions, and that's the Miami Dolphins. Now I'm going to give you guys before we go through the schedule the good news and bad news. They lost a, a good 49ers team. I know they're so injured now that they don't look like a good 49ers team, but they're a good 49ers team. And they narrowly beat the Titans and they beat the Patriots, two teams that no one is going to be talking about other than what who's their next uh, top five pick they're going to be taking after the season. But I like to go quarter up first quarterback matchup and second like team matchups. They're going to beat the Broncos and go three and one at home. Vikings in London. Look, I don't know how good Sam Darnold is, but you still like that matchup for them, right? You rather have Aaron Rodgers than Sam Darnold. Let's say they go four and one, and then they lose to the Bills at home to go four and two on Monday Night Football. And let's say they go to Pittsburgh and lose to the Steelers on Sunday night because it's Sunday Night Football and it's the Steelers. Now they're four and three, and they beat the Patriots to go five and three. They beat the tech, they lose to the Texans to go five and four. At the Cardinals, let's say they lose that game. They're now five and five. They beat the Colts and they beat my Seahawks. I love my Seahawks, but if I was at home, I'd be picking the Seahawks. They're seven and five. At Dolphins, they win. They're eight and five. At eight and five, they'd have to go to Miami. No, sorry, they're already there. At the Jaguars, I think the Jaguars are going to be better by that time. It'll be eight and six. They're going to beat a broken Rams team, nine and six. Bills, let's say they go 10 and seven. That's a playoff team. And that's what I think they are. They're a 10 and seven, 11 and six team. If they win one of those games that I just mentioned, maybe they do go 11 and six. Aaron Rodgers is back. If you're a New York football fan or a New York Jets fan, you should be happy. It's the same old Rodgers making the plays making people look weird, 
having bad body language, everything about Aaron Rodgers that you like and everything you hate, dislike about him all appeared yesterday on Thursday Night Football. 